my liege, we have finally received a letter from our conqueror, the repulsive emperor of the Umayyads. Oh, oh, what does it say? I mean, he struck all the other Christians off the face of the region, and he, he did what no Christian lord was ever able to do and unified the land of the Romans. Yes, he says that you will be allowed to retain your lands should you swear off the Pope and acknowledge the glory of Allah and Islam. Oh, oh, then I suppose blessed be Allah. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel and newcomers alike. We are here once again with Malik al Muaza, Saladin II, currently the repulsive of the Umayyad Empire. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I do not like being the repulsive. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we gotta change our name somehow. I don't think we get a name change from this, but it is helpful. It is helpful. Hmm. Not currently convinced. Not currently convinced. We have this to deal with. Maybe I shouldn't have raised this army here. <laughs> they should have raised it a little further back. He's probably going to turn around and try to attack me here. We'll see what happens, though. It would be unwise. You know. Ooh, a bunch of allies have joined the war. How many days are left? 11 days. If he's coming for me, he's screwed because I'm going to be up in 11 days and he's not going to get... I don't think he's going to get back, back fast enough. So six days left. Oh, this is going to be the worst for him. I'm going to literally pop right as he hits me. <laughs> You'd think we planned it. You'd think we planned it. Who is this? Ah, uh, this is... an African ruler, I suppose. I don't know that... I don't... Where's this? Oh, way down there. Yeah, in the part of Africa that I don't even realize that I rule. You know, there's so much of Africa that I do not realize is even related to me. These people. It's gonna be a pretty quick war, I think. Now yeah, we need to... I suppose just travel up this way and uh, land ourselves right on his capital. Is this? Uh, we do not do divorces, I am sorry, but no. Uh, you can suck it up. And we're also going to skip this hunt, I think. Just because we got so much to do right now. You know, got so much to do. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully we can get this siege done fast, because I, uh, I don't want to be in this war forever. These, these guys. They're trying to undo all of my glorious work. Ah, uh, the work of generations to keep this working. To keep this going properly, and they're just just, just going to try to destroy it all on me. Why? <sighs> well, I still got some things I can give away, so let's go here. Let's gift this son an artifact. Let's gift him, I don't know. Just these stag antlers. Might help. And uh, I will gift you... Hmm, anything else I care about? I guess the Aquitanian banner. It was weird that I didn't... Oh, yeah. So that's a little bit better. Eight points is not a lot, though. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. So there's a siege going on here. Let's just, um... Teach them a lesson. That lesson is gonna be... What are you thinking? Like, to what end? What is the purpose of this? Let's just... I think 10,000 will be enough, so let's just stop this now. Oh, Shadow of Fame, Dawn. My father, the great Malik al Muazzam yal died of old age a long time ago. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> it was just like a couple of years ago, man. What surrounded him everywhere now seems to follow me. The world to remember Yokohana as my father, yes. We were going to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Just pop in here, you know. Which is fine, right? It's all fine. Scandalous priest. Ah, condemn him for his transactions. I mean, I am cynical, but... Culturally, our religion is extraordinarily important. Or my mother has died of old age. Didn't really affect me that much, though. We are gonna lose our unity, and there's not much we can do about it right now. We'll just have to push it when the opportunity comes. 
The Great Survey. My steward, Emir Yasin, has come to me with a bold idea of assessing all property in my realm in a single giant survey, creating a definitive record of my holding. By compiling this knowledge, I would gain a better in oversight in administrative matters as well as tax collection, though the initial investment would not be cheap. I will know every acre, surf, and head of livestock. Ah, it's a lot of money. I might gain a perk. Gives control. Higher holding taxes. You know, I've got it. No, I'm gonna do the 300 gold version. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Ah, so we have finally became friends with our brother. Nice. The Great Survey. My marshal, Sheik Pios is concerned that my assessors will be a prime target for bandits and thieves. Organize a militia to guard them. A 50% chance. My law is sufficient. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Send a ferry with each group of assessors. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Hope it pays off. I don't like all this money I gotta spend, I'm just saying. Hope it pays off. Did we actually land on the capital? Yeah, we are sieging it, so everything has happened properly. Good, let's see who we should befriend next. Okay, on the council we have this guy. Any of these people in my family? You are. So, oh, you're 62 years old, but I think... I think we'll befriend you anyway. Just for a little bit more unity boost, <laughs> because we desperately need it. E. Hatim's friendship. It is so rare to find a true friend, of course, of course. We have defeated this, and we have finished the Great Survey. Well, at least we've begun the Great Survey, I should say. We have gone to the Sheikdom of Ansogo. All right. Don't think we need this anymore, but we can still head over here and, like, mop up, I guess. I'm not sure it matters, though. Like, in fact, I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'd rather just disband. Probably gonna come over and try to siege again, but I'm okay with that. Call to war. Who is this? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to war for that guy. Name of chess. And an imprisonment. Greetings, my charming liege. I was in for a rude awakening when the only people who showed up from my service this morning were your tax assessors. Apparently, the stern-looking officials waiting outside my door deterred many faithful Asharis from attending my service. I am happy to pay you my dues. The affairs of the church are inherently a spiritual matter, not a temporal one. Your surveyors have no business being here and disrupting my services. Mosques shall be assessed whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. But that argument is absurd. Hopefully we clear this out soon, and when we do, this war will be over. Man. Barely holding on. I've been faithfully paying my dues to the crown each year, yet just the other day your task assessor showed up on my doorstep demanding in to inspect my holdings. Do you trust me so little that you must send men to invade my privacy? Who the hell are you? You're just like... nobody. I will know what my lands contain, no exceptions. Yeah. Of course I will. Let's see what's going on up here. We don't need any of that. We... Actually cannot recall our hostage. It's this guy, we're already working on him. Negotiate alliance with your nephew. We will do it. My daughter, 22, can marry. Okay, uh, anybody who would be a good alliance? Ah, I think it's fine. We can leave her unmarried for now. I don't want to give her a second-class marriage just to rush things. Very soon, we should hit the top. After many long months of surveying my lands, it is done. My assessors have completed an accurate estimation of my holdings. This will ensure my tax collectors do not miss anything important when tallying what I am owed. Beaming with pride, Steward Yasin asks where we should store the records now that they are complete. So let's see. I restrict access. I gain... some temporary buffs. If I distribute them, I get development growth. I think I'd rather distribute them. 
Let's see. So we're now at professional workforce. Nice. Very good. Continue to grow. We've won the siege and thus won the war. Let's enforce our demands. So be it. We may have had... Oh, nope. We got some people that we can ransom here. I'm gonna ransom the kid. Unity is dropped back down to friendly. Can I... I can extol virtuousness to push it back up. Good. Oof. Okay. Now what are we going to do with this guy? I mean, he refused to convert, and that's a big deal. Let's deal with the lesser people first. Negotiate release, demand conversion, you can go. And negotiate release, demand conversion, you can go. So we don't need any of them. So now we've got you. So here's the thing. Your heir. Your heir seems like you might convert. You, on the other hand, we are going to have to deal with. Mental break, dark thoughts. Oh. I must be strong and resist these impulses, yes. Yes, we must push on. Do we have any methods of lowering our stress? We do not. We do have expanded cities, which I've wanted to do for a long time. You want to do it? I think we're going to do it. So we have expanded all the cities. They'll all get an extra building slot, which will be cool. Now this guy... I am just and sadistic, so I really do not want to uh, <laughs> torture this guy. I don't want his hundred gold either. Realistically, I think execution has to be what happens. Um, so we're going to do that. We've got his son here. Who we're going to demand the conversion of, and he understands what happened to his father. Good on him for, uh, forgetting the message. Because that could have went worse for him. Oh, my son can do this. Nice. He is my very bestest tax collector now. That's good. Good on him for that. We should maybe consider doing some kind of activity. Alternatively, we could, like, continue with our wars in spite of the fact we are overwhelmed with stress by attacking this guy here. Oh, we gotta disband our... Oh, no, we're still in this war. Uh, we gotta disband our troops. Here. Or do we send them? I legitimately gotta say I don't want to send them. Thank you for joining. It's going to spare you your life. Okay, I don't think we're gonna send anybody over there. I should, though. It's a difficult decision. I mean, I did... I did specifically specifically try to get this, um, this alliance. We could do this. We could land here. Siege one of his allies down. That could help. Wait, what happened? Did my brother die? She abdicated. She abdicated. So... She has abdicated Sicily to her son, who is a 17-year-old handsome young man who absolutely we should uh, develop a relationship with. He likes us a lot already. That's good. That's definitely good. Okay. That's fine. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. We're gonna send our guys down this way. Siege up here. Uh, swear an oath of true friendship. Okay, let's do it. I really do not want to do this. Well, I mean, I guess it gives me time to do the other thing that I wanted to do, which was... We need to do... A feast to celebrate my... Ascension to the throne, and then after the feast... We will... Begin the long process of our endless 
endless need for war. Confirm. Obviously, we do it here because of the savings. The honorary guest, I think, is going to be Ablarion. Because, oh yeah, he can't be the honorary guest because that's, that's how it works. I suppose we could do the young Sultan of Sicily, Ismail. Um, might be cool. I could try to also befriend Ismail, my cousin. Confirm that. All right. My nephew, I mean. Obviously, he's my nephew. He's the son of my brother. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Yeah, you can get you you could you could spend some time with me to forget the fact that your wife is in prison. You know, just forget it. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's always okay, right? No, it's probably not okay, but you know, tis what it is, right? Tis what it is. I hate our Miller Spears. It's gonna happen by accident. Why did I do Chronicle Writing? Chronicle Writing is press several of your claims in a single war. Yeah, that's good. It's good. We should be using our diplomacy to try to, um... Increase the number of friends we make, because that's one way... That we can push... This bar better than our father could. Befriend kindred minds! We are now closer than ever, so we are now friends. Nice. So let's find somebody else cool in our family that we can become friends with. Our tax collector and son, that could be good. Let's do that. It's not great. Stop imprisoning each other, that might help, you know? Might help if you didn't completely cry and put yourselves in- Ugh. All this blackmail! You guys, come on. You guys, you're making it hard on me, okay? I'm working out here, real hard. Try to keep this family together. And you're just blackmailing and imprisoning each other like it's no thing. My literal friend, who I literally just made, literally just died. All right, well, who's my best spy master? Sultan Khalid Ibn Yokhara of Aquitaine, my half-brother. Nobody else worthwhile. We'll assign him. It's not as great as predecessor, but he'll do. Hopefully there's no murder attempts or anything that I have to deal with while he's in charge. It's not that great. Oh, you learned Arabic, eh? Cool. Six months. This this is forever. Why did I invite people that are so far away? Oh, six months is so long. More stress. More people dying. Oh, there's a little bit of a stress down there. Watching people get angry. You know, sharing our emotional state with them. It's very nice. Exchange the hostage. All my hard work. Let's build. Oh, you know, we haven't done any troop building for a while, and we are intending to do some serious war mongering, so we could have these caballeros. The bowmen we're never going to raise up, but I could raise up my, um, Mubarazun. Mubarazum. To 11. And then I can start to build these guys up. All the way to the top. There we go. Nice. Nice. It's a lot of money we just spent on that, you know? We, we spent a lot of money on that. It's gonna be okay, though, right? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> How is our capital doing, by the way, on development? Oh, 25, not bad. It's been, it's been working its way up for a long time. We got 33. It's here is where it's going up, right? Yeah, this is what we're working on. So 33. 33 is pretty good, admittedly. Out of wedlock. My cousin. And this person. Welcome, friends. Welcome to the party. Hopefully this helps me with my stress problem. All right. It has taken much of the evening to get myself close to Sultan Ismail. You do realize this is my feast, right? <laughs> Switch to something less contentious. 48% chance we become friends. 48% chance we become closer to becoming friends. And 3% chance it's just opinion. We became closer to becoming friends. That's good. In a drunken stumble, Amir Hamda unlatched the enormous cauldron hanging over the fireplace in the middle of the feasting hall. Savory broth welled forth to cover half the room in a sea of stew. The unsuspecting pin Prince Gammon, seated next to the cauldron, was caught by the rushing wave and loudly cursed his ruined appearance as grease ran down his face. Guests rushed to the other side of the hall as the thick mass spread greasy tendrils among skidding feet. Giving in to her insatiable hunger, hunger 
<laughs> as Maria claps to the floor, swallowing as much as she could of the meaty mess, while Amir- What? What? What's happening? <laughs> uh, I, I am so sorry that my father married you to my horrid sister, who I guess is so gluttonous that she licks dirty meat off the floor. That's some- <laughs> that's some serious stuff. Build stew. I gotta see what that is. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Curse this mess. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Curse the mess. Mutual spirits. What started as an ordinary fist became an exceptional one thanks to Sultan Ismail. We spoke all evening about the manner of subjects. Ah, uh, what a good evening. We are becoming friends and also he grew an excellent beard while he was here. Nice to see. Very nice to see. Uh, all my guests smile, satisfied at their plates when I look at them, proud of my display of generosity. That said, Amir Hamda might carry more shame than satisfaction after overturning the cauldron and mess. <laughs> Cleaning up the mess will not be cheap. Ah, uh, you know. Goes how it goes, right? Goes how it goes. The shy woman wants me to help her escape, but uh, I'm not that dude. <laughs> I want to see her suffer a little bit. You know... This is the kind of suffering that's manageable, right? This is a lot different from torturing those guys for no reason. And I haven't tortured anybody for no reason yet. Oh, uh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Yes, this is where I want to be. Lose 150 stress, 105 stress. This'll threshold me, but 20 opinion is really useful. You know, you get some stress down at the end too, so we're gonna take the 20 opinion. Hope this is good enough. And then we'll do a toast to Sultan Ismail. And with that, it's all done. Oh, well, we had a really good feast. Finish this up. Let's head over to our army and see if it ever reached the uh, place that it was sieging. Supposed to siege. It did not because I uh, clicked on the wrong spot. Probably not the best. How are we doing? Not great. Befriend the estate. The trip was worth the effort. So we will befriend our son. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's grab another perk here for centralization. That will help our growth in our spectacular capital. It's another feast we could attend. No. We just finished our own feast. We don't need another feast. You two can marry. They have no respect for my work. I've been working so hard to keep this up. No respect at all. Guys, come on. Could you? Could you please? Could you please? Guys, could you please? I guess we're gonna befriend this guy next. Yeah, it's just... It's just over. I'm never gonna finish this siege before he loses this war. I wish I had even sent them. At least this way he can't say that I didn't help. I mean, he can. And... Ablarian has died, who's my vizier now. You. You are not good. You're not good at all. Dang it. Well, you're gonna have to be on managed domain. I think I probably... Oh, no. I need a new tax collector. I have this guy who's excellent, so he can do it. Yes, so good old Alblarian has died, and my new guy isn't that great. So, that's disappointing. What's happening here? Here, my courtiers are... Overtly discussing my great number of... What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I, giving my titles away is not just game. It's not. That's not how... That's not how justice works. I, I hold those titles because... They're mine. They're not just like... Willy-nilly. My vassal, Wali Hassan, has asked me if I would like to get together for a small bout of carousing and merrymaking. He's apparently... Something of a reveler of notoriety. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, remember, no booze. Wink, wink. I mean, we are a bit callous, so maybe we will be bo boozing a bit. All right. These guys have completely ruined my f my, my my unity. It's probably unrecoverable at this point. The fact we were able to maintain it as long as we did is something of a miracle. We should just continue to try to befriend people in our family, because that'll help at least a little bit. Let's befriend. Oh, we're already befriending somebody. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's time. It's 
time. The time has come to end the Christian Wars. By declaring some wars down here in groups. And I'll do probably three at a time. Declare war. Declare war. And probably this guy. Declare war. Now I'm just going to take my um, banner here and move it to there. And we're just going to raise all men-at-arms. But we're also going to raise everything else as well. That's probably enough. Let's just wait for the 16 days for these guys to come up. And then when that happens, we will win these two wars quick. Respect and admiration. Considering my life's deeds, it's only natural that others should respect me. I am convinced Sultan Khalid also has accomplished a thing or two which fills him with great pride. He will be mighty impressed by my feats. Not going to turn down a little bit of free prestige. Where are we at? Here. Sadness. That being said, I don't know that it affects our succession as much anymore because... We don't have that mu many sons and we're not going to have any more, so it could actually be okay. To just let it stay friendly. I mean, I'm not sure we care about that as much. You know what I mean? I'm gonna drop besiegers here. And then I'm just gonna attack this guy. Befriend Tales from the Wilds. We should meet and compare kills. Of course we should. <sighs> Stress. Relief. Mission complete. Alright, so let's just get these sieges done. Sunity changed. They became a rival. Attempted mer- Oh, jeez. Guys! Federal Flame Daylight. A long time has passed since I decided to focus on emulating the fame of my dead father, even longer since his death. It is stressful and demanding to step out of his shadow. I feel the world judging me, not by my deeds alone, but by in comparison to Malik al Muazzam Yokohana. I know I am respected, but is it enough? Let's do it. Keep pushing! An unsurfacing the spouse of my son and heir. Asamadin has passed away. All those carefully plans. I mean, rest in peace. Uh, to be fair, he has... Oh, actually, his son carries the bad genes. <laughs> uh, his son carries the bad genes. And his daughter is wounded. I mean, my son can remarry easily enough, right? I mean, this is not a bad marriage. Get married. <laughs> Get married, kid! We will ransom this mare. Eh, that's all fine. I can vassalize this count. He's there. I will offer vassalage, vassalization. He will accept it. Good. So our vassalization of Italy continues. I am reading a history of Sultan Abid al Rahman of Al Andalus, also known as the Hawk of Akirish. Learning about his incredibly uh, learning about his life is incredibly inspiring from his Abbasid escape to establishing the Umayyad dynasty in Iberia. I can't help but think I should take some of it to heart. His diplomatic dealings with the Yemeni were are legendary. I too can inspire men as he did. Ten years of uh, plus one martial per devotion. <laughs> we're related. <laughs> okay, we have seized a minor artifact here from this guy and taken a prisoner. That should mean one of the wars is over, so we will enforce this. So be it. I have a big question. Do we want to end the vi our vizierate? If I was to dis... Like, this is in my control, right? If I was to dismiss him... Yeah, so we're going to grant him this. And that ends the vizierate. Uh, my wife is... Slightly better than him. Which is all I guess we can really ask for in this case. Let's move these guys up to finish this second war up here. I wish it had been Oblarian, but you know, it, the, the what, marriage to my wife really didn't work out. Artifacts here. Nothing unplaced. Let's see if we can't recover a bit by giving some more artifacts that we don't need to our son. We need to keep all that stuff. We can give him this. Now uh, we can also give him this. 
I mean, we're not using this anymore. We could give him this, but I think no, we'll give him all the hides, you know? Maybe this will have him take the hint that we'd like him to become a hunter. <laughs> so that's helped a bit, you know? Probably not enough, unless I can also do this soon. And I can. Just under a year. All right. Just this. Request a divorce. I do not grant divorces. Please do tell. No. I don't need a hook. Of course they're going to ruin it. I just... I just rose it up! <laughs> no! All my effort for nothing. I am going to help my new head tax collector. You know, we'll help him out. It's fine. Interesting. I am going to ransom him to himself. Can you finish? Thank you. And I'm going to ransom his son to him as well. And then we will win the war. We will disband all these troops and we'll continue on our way up. We got to get this guy next. Declare war. Guess we grab Lombardy as well. You know, I think we'll just grab this guy too. Conquer County there. I mean, let's look at the boundaries here. So this is all Lombardy, right? So I want to start, I'm going to grant the Lombardy territories to my son. Grant titles here. Wait, that's not in Lombardy. Yes, it is. So we will grant this to my son. Yeah. All the titles in Lombardy were granting to my son. So here we go. We will grant you this. Check. Do that. We will get an alliance with him. We don't need allies for these wars. And let's do it. Same thing as last time. Raise all the men at arms. And then raise all here until we get to four or five thousand. And then when we get to four or five thousand, we will combine them together. That'll do. Did I just... No, no, that's right. Just stop it. Combine this. This guy thinks because he has an army that he stands a chance. It's actually laughably silly. <laughs> He's like, I have an army, so I can win! No, you can't. <laughs> it's not different. The, you, <laughs> you shouldn't even have raised it. I'm just gonna head down this way. No, I think I should chase him. Do you think we should chase him? No, I'm gonna siege him down. I'm just gonna siege him down. We'll catch his army later. If I have to drop besiegers, I'll drop besiegers. Befriend and evening's company. We are closer now than ever. Thank you so much. All right. Our steward is gone. Now we can put a proper steward in his place. This guy's really good. And he's a new Mayad. And uh, we're going to befriend him. All right. Sounds good. We can vassalize this person here. We will way down in Africa. <sighs> wow. <laughs> our African holdings are growing on their own just because people are hearing about us and wanting to participate in this enormous empire. And they're right to. No one's going to even deny that. They are correct. <laughs> Need to appoint a tax collector. Because we lost our extra tax collectors from dropping our, um, vizier. Put this guy in. Now... This guy's probably bugged. Nope, that's just actually the clothes he wears. Cool dude. Cool dude! So this is done. Enforce these demands. Just to get rid of this, because it's, it's a waste of everyone's time. We didn't want it. We never did. We don't care about this, so this can go to our second son as well. It is in Lombardy, so he gets it. Grant title there. Good. Now we'll head up here. I don't know who holds the capital of Lombardy. It's here, so my son will hold it. That's great. That makes the whole thing work out. That makes the whole thing work out. More neighbors who can be vassalized. This guy wants to join. This guy wants to join. We are now deep into Africa, vassalizing the, the south. Is this... Oh, this is because of the taxation. So what I want to do is I want to create a new vizier, right? Yes, but I want a good one, like a Blarian, not an idiot, like that other guy. Uh, can I... 
Let's just let the war run, but as we're doing this, we're gonna try to go top realm inside unmarried female adult inside my court. Okay. So there's this courtier here. She's 30 years old. I'd like her to marry somebody with very high stewardship who isn't a million years old. Probably asking a lot. I mean, she is 30. So, like, somebody in their 40s or 50s isn't a terrible marriage for her. Like, this 45-year-old, he's not doing that bad. This 46-year-old, it's not as good on the smarts, though. This guy's got better overall stats. This 54-year-old, maybe? I think this 45-year-old. He's 45. That's pretty good. So, we're going to bring him in in preparation. I'm hoping I can make him my, uh... My vizier. Somebody hired a holy order. Uh, they're literally just throwing their lives away. Purchase truce. Yes, I don't have any intention to go to war down there in Africa, so we will absolutely purchase a truce from you. It's just like it's basically robbing you. Next month is when we, uh, we can click our thing again. We're doing okay right now. We'll get pushed back up by that. Oh, jeez. My unmarried daughter is doing that thing. <sighs> can vassalize this guy, and we will. Can we recall our hostage yet? I'd love it if we could. You won't do it. Simply won't do it. A missing village! Villagers go missing all the time. Heed it no, pay it, pay it no heed. You know, the thing is... I want the perk. It fits me, but so does just not caring. I think... I... I... Mm. No. I don't care. This is just villagers. They probably died of the plague or something. Whatever. Villagers died of the plague like every day. It's just this is how life works. More vassalizations. Let's ransom him to himself. Of course we will. We're now gonna go in. I think we're gonna go to the guy we were befriending. And we are going to extol his virtuousness. Nice. And we're gonna win this. We gotta, gotta get his money first. Can't leave him with his money, that'd be silly. Now, we enforce our demands. Let's look how the succession is going now. We go to our son. Here. Grant him this title. And we walk over this way. Grab this. This is all still Lombardy. This is not Lombardy. This is Piedmont. So we might give this to somebody over here. I sort of want to keep my son's territory. Oh, we have too many vassals, do we? Okay, so we have made our son the Duke of Lombardy. We made some other duchies in here too, but it didn't get us down as low as we wanted it to. It didn't turn out that great, but uh, hopefully it'll be better soon. Let's look at the succession. No idea why it's still giving him all of this when he's gotten so much already. It's fine if I have to... Oh, was that even possible? Like, if I have to disinherit him, I have to disinherit him, right? Well, we'll see how it goes. Because I will disinherit him if I have to. Alright, let's just take this. I don't want to do the siege if I can help it. So we're going to give this... to my son as well. Okay. My son is over his limit, so he's going to have to fix that for himself, because I ain't fixing it for him. We need to disband all this. Uh, we have to get Como and Trent, and then this area over here. Not that many wars left. I think we'll do these three, and then we'll do Trent as a last final war. So let's just grab this. Declare war. County, done. Declare war. County. Why the heck do I have a truce with you? Shoot, how long do I have a truce with you for? Three years. What's the penalty for this? General opinion, minus 50. Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> That's a big deal! That means we're probably not gonna finish this up this session. Ah, I was really hoping to get this finished this session. That's fine. That is fine. If I have to declare one more next session to make this work, I absolutely will. I absolutely will. 
So let's do this. Declare war, and then we want to vassalize this guy. Declare war. Force vassalization war. It's more expensive, but it lets us take it all at once. Can I freaking vassalize this guy? All right, he's the only thing here that should actually matter. So we're just going to raise a army. Where is it? Pretty centrally here, and then just do what we did every other time. Raise all men at arms. Raise all here. And again, we're going to stop once we have a decent amount. Pay ransom? Sure. Oh, my steward got removed again. I'll put the Sultan of Burgundy there, I suppose. All right. Let's get in here and do this. Oh, I forgot to try to assign my uh, vizier during the, the break. That's fine. Fine. 28 days left. Synergize friendship. Yep, sure. Wait, what? Oh, I screwed it up. Uh, I'm just going to start. <laughs> I'm going to start. That's fine. We're just going to go for it. We're, we're not going to wait. That's that's not what we're doing. We're, we'll take this up here. We'll kill this guy with the uh, men-at-arms. While this guy does a siege down here. It's fine. That did not go the way I want. Oh, my... My... My aunt died. My my caravan master. My, my aunt. No, no. My father's sister. The leper. Oh, she made it to 68. That is a long-lived leper. <laughs> that is a long-lived lusty leper. Her Amazonian really kept her in the battle for a really long time. She's an extraordinarily healthy, well-built leper. Okay, let's see if we can't get this done. A bunch of people gained the court trait. Somebody died. Where are we at? So we're holding pretty steady. The family is not in full rebellion yet. But if I have to disinherit my youngest son, I will. I mean, I've given him so much territory over here. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to bother to ransom his kid. I can actually hold that now. Interestingly enough. Take you, send you to there, besiege this, keep my own son. He knows. He knows the law says no divorces. I'm married to a 51-year-old kid. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Here's a 26-year-old second wife, okay? Marry her. That's way better than a divorce, all right? Just do what I say. I have kids with her, okay? That's how it works. That's how it- Oh, jeez. Are you- Are you actually sieging? He's actually sieging. I can't believe I let that happen. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Alright, well, this is not gonna be good for him. Because, uh, this army is gonna make him smashed. All right up. <laughs> it's not even gonna be cute. It's gonna be awful. There's so much is gonna happen. Stewardship perk! We also gain communal government. Let's take our tax man up here. Good. Uh, excellent. That shortens that right up. We will just disband the giant army, but not this army. This army can come over here. This 5,000 strong all men at arms th army. All right. So you need to become a Muslim. That's the first step in surviving this whole thing. Uh, blessed be Allah. I'm going to grant you this vassal. He oh, actually, I could just grant you this title. Uh, grant you this title. Rate. Let's look at how the region looks here. Okay, all oh, this seems fine. This all seems fine. Am I going to have to... If I create this title, right? I can grant this title to... Wait, what's happening here? What has happened to Sicily? Where did you go? Who killed you? Oh my god, the curses are turned. He died in a storm at sea. So what episode? We meet this young kid and he's already dead. It's my nephew here. Oh my god. Your father is also dead. He's the Sultan. Okay, so we're not giving him that. So what's in here? I This is my half-brother, right? Yeah. Um, got kids, right? Yeah, I'm going to grant him the title of the Sultanate of Romania. 
that should fix some of my problems up. We will grant him the vassals here that we can. We can grant him this, right? Yep. If I was to uh, grant you this guy as a vassal, and if I was to grant you this guy as a vassal, that would also help to, to heal things a bit down there, wouldn't it? Yep. That means that my marshal should be you. Good. So our council is still pretty good. Yeah, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta finish this war, but this should be super fast. So we'll just come in here, crush his army, and then after we crush his army, we will siege him down, and it'll be the second last place we need to clear up Italy. Ah, I was really hoping this was gonna be the no pope day, but it can't be because these guys still exist. They still exist. Ugh, it's awful. Decline. No divorces. This is a no divorce space. All these ransoms. Just do these ransoms while we're finishing this siege. Should probably be checking our prison for uh, other people who we can like let go as well, so that we don't make any prisoner rivals. Negotiate an alliance with my cousin. Yes, we will. Designate a guardian for my grandson. He wants to be a fighter. Cool. Not a betrothal. Not me, someone who's actually good at fighting. Oh, this courtier could do it. He's pretty smart, too. Yeah, let's do it. Please train my child. Thank you. I really want to recall this hostage. They still won't let me. I can vassalize this person. Get vassalized. This person. I can grant vassal. This person. Oh, this helps so much. Oh, good. A whole bunch of grant vassals that are really going to help all this area down here shape up into something actually worthwhile. Should help me a lot with the fact that I keep having too many vassals. Good. Africa. Look at this. Look at it. It's fine. I want this. Shadow of Faith seen it. I have failed you, Yokohama. I have failed myself. You know, that's fine. It's actually not that big a deal, man. It's just, it's very hard to do that that fast, right? We were never going to hit Living Legend. He's, we'll get it before we die, man. You still got five years left to live or something <laughs> he's so old <laughs> it's not helping his reign is going to be so short uh, and his son is not that old so you know we might get more time with his son you know that would be nice right that would be nice so let's finish this war the whole life of our poor man here is being occupied by oh geez did i miss a part of italy no, that's part of Baravia. Awesome. <laughs> that's what we need. So literally, literally one place left, right? There's one place left, frickin' Trent. That's it. That's all there is. And then we control all of Italy and the Pope can be disposed forever and then we can go back to heading over here doing our actual intent. Let's rank you, though. No, no, don't, don't keep getting distracted. Listen, we got things to do. We haven't, we haven't attacked the Arabian Empire since the Great Egyptian Campaign three generations ago. Okay, we, we need to... We need to smarten up. Start doing what we said we would do. All right. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me the next time. We are here with Malik al Muazzam Saladin, second, the repulsive of the Umayyad Empire. Bye for now.